Well, this morning, August fall to roll our aim. Quick and all quiet, special to Starul Shaw. In a will meet Kunk Kailura on the floor, Tagus Gagas Falum her on Shaw, a Galoshta and the Hulskala Kirky. Good afternoon, guests, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this series, uh, which is entitled the Seminar uh, Series, the Master's Voice Series. Um, which is going to celebrate 10 years of the accredited programme uh, which we run here for staff across all colleges, all staff who teach. They might be in the careers office, they might be in the library, they may be in dentistry, we we'll meet several of them this afternoon. Um, we are delighted to be conducting this session with, uh, in conjunction with the National Forum for the Enhancement of Teaching and Learning. We are part today of their national series, so we will be recording this and sending it on to them. Um, and uh, this is an excellent series that we welcome. Several of our colleagues throughout the country are doing the same over the coming months. Um, so this series will be part of the archive, so all of our guests um, from Kosovo will also be able to access that at any time. It will be under the professional development strand of the National Forum site under its seminar series and you may access it in the future and that of all other uh, colleagues. Um, so just to say, I suppose, uh, it's not just a question of celebrating the 10 years, it's actually taken us 30 years to get here. Uh, UCC has the first teaching development unit uh, ever in the country. Uh, it was called the TDU, just the Teaching Development Unit, and was founded here in UCC in 1984. It was on the old training model, uh, so it was courses for staff to help them with projection and better PowerPoints and notes. The focus was not so much on the student then. Lots has changed since then, and by 1995, um, the Education Department, particularly under the wonderful inspired direction of Professor Anya Highland, um, then brought about a whole lot of seminars uh, and particularly staff orientation series for our new staff coming. So then for another three or four years particularly we worked on that and then by 2000 with the coming of the, um, let's say, the Education Act and uh, the development of Norma's unit, the Quality Promotion Unit, a wonderful interest was taken by staff really in uh, staff development courses and the idea of looking at our teaching. So this is where we very much come into the picture. So by 2000 then, um, we were running a whole lot of seminar series. And of course, Betty, uh, Betty and I run the Teaching and Learning Centre together. So that's Betty's side of the house to run the series. And from 2000 on, we began uh, to take that very seriously. By 2004, staff were clamouring for accreditation for the courses they were taking. And so we had the first certificate in Teaching and Learning with 58 candidates in 2004. Um, and now, of course, in 2014, we now have graduated 385 staff in the certificate, 163 in the diploma, and we have 53 masters conferred to date, um, eight of whom you will be here, uh, you will hear speaking shortly. Um, so that gives you a quick uh, part of history. Uh, before I talk about this, there are a few people I want to thank today, particularly standing over here on my left, um, Mary Clahassey, my uh, this this wonder woman, Mary, who does everything to help us, and before that, Nuna Griffin. So there are two extraordinary executive assistants who have done powerful work through the years to help us. I'd also like to thank the, the course team um, who have helped me run this program uh, through the years and several of them will be, will be speaking. So we'll mention that as they come along, but uh, particularly here, um, you know, Anna is here this afternoon also, who's on the course team. And we have Declan Kennedy and Tracy Connolly and Kiran Dawson, other people who won't be speaking this afternoon. And I'll introduce her to the others as we go along. Um, I particularly want to thank today Patrick Kiley and um, also Claire, uh, because without them we couldn't possibly uh, do this uh, to the recording standard that we would like uh, to achieve. So um, I'm very grateful to them for doing that today. Just as you see in, in the front of your, of your little programme that you have, um, this is the crest of uh, University College Cork as were the Irish version. When you come through the main gates, my colleagues from Kosovo, when you were coming up the main gates, and if you look up, this is what you see. Have you seen it already on the gates? So there's Onad Barra, this is where we're taking our title from. Onad Barra, the place of Finbar, it's the Irish again, Skull Namun, the school of Munster. 
So it's a translation of the English, which says in English, where Finbar taught, let Munster learn. So I suppose it's very important to point out that we are the only university in the country where teaching and learning appear in the motto, in the one sentence. And I think it says a lot about how teaching and learning are taken seriously. Um, so this leads me to the, you see the open book in the centre of the picture. Um, this is about uh, literally opening things up. We are interested in Anubara in investigation and we spend a whole afternoon now on this. So this is where the scholarship of teaching and learning that we talk of in the series comes into it. We are interested in documenting our teaching uh, from the perspective of looking for the evidence of student learning. So we are researching our teaching. So we have moved from the old days of remediation and training to investigation and research and querying. So that open book is there for us to be forever standing on tiptoe, asking questions, wondering, investigating. Um, you see in this, as well in this image, uh, the coat of arms of Cork. Uh, you know, the, and the Cork motto, um, Studio Bene Fide Carina. So it is a welcoming harbour and we hope as well there are guests that you feel welcome today. Um, and also you have the three crowns of Munster on the right uh, and on the left to the royal, as it were, lion, symbolic of our origins as Queen's College in the 1840s. So we are here, as you know, uh, since 1845, not literally, metaphorically. Um, and so we've come a long way in that time. So without further ado now, I'm going to introduce um, our first speaker, Dr. Betty Higgs. You've already met Betty this morning. Um, so it's wonderful that Betty's going to be the first speaker because, of course, she was in the first master's class in 2007, but also she's our interim uh, vice president for teaching and learning at the moment. She's also my colleague uh, um, and co-director, so uh, I thought it would be lovely to have Betty speak to you first about her area of teaching uh, science and, and using you know, new methodologies with uh, the particularly first year science. So Betty, without further ado, uh, your reprise for today again. <laughs> 